Hello, and welcome to a video on how to add a server icon to your ScalaCube server. A server icon allows your server to stand out by adding a creative picture to it so your server can be visible from thousands of others. While it might seem pretty simple, there are a couple of things you should know before uploading your server icon. Things to note are that a server icon must be 64 by 64 pixels in size, the server icon must be named server-icon, the file format has to be .png. To make sure your image is following these standards, go to your image and right-click it and select Properties. In the General tab, we can see the image name being server-icon. On the same tab, we can see that the file type is PNG. If we continue to the Details tab, we can see that the dimensions of the file are 64 by 64 pixels. If the dimensions of the picture are not correct, you can easily upload your picture to a website, allowing you to resize your existing image to the required dimensions. A great example is to use simpleimageresizer.com. If these conditions are met, we can continue to upload the server icon to your ScalaCube server. The first step is to go to scalacube.com and log into your account. After this is done, go to Servers, click on Manage Server. Click on Manage again. The next step is to click on Settings on the left side of the page. After you've made it to the Settings page, find the area to upload your server icon and click on Upload and select your file. The icon has successfully been uploaded, and the final step is to restart your server. To do this, click Back and click Manage. Click on the button that says Reboot and wait for the process to finish. If we go back to our server list, we can see that the icon has successfully been uploaded and will be visible to every player on your server. If the image is not visible, make sure that the server was restarted after adding your server icon and the icon requirements are met as mentioned in the beginning. Just in case this video is not fully explained, I've also put a link in the description to the ScalaCube website to the same guide explaining the same method step-by-step -step with images. That is all for me today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.